My name is Neeb, welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're gonna to be talking about affordable oud fragrances. So whether or not these have authentic oud in it, that's a whole nother story. It's likely that they don't, but then again, a lot of fragrances, even the more expensive one uses synthetic blend, meaning that one to 2% of the fragrance might have an authentic oud and the rest could just be something that's synthesized or combined to smell like oud. So most of these fragrances are likely to be that case, but nevertheless, it still smells like oud. Some of these might use one to 2% of oud. Sounds pretty sad, but really it's not. Oud, agarwood, the original or natural agarwood is borderline extinct. And really everything that we have out there in the market is technically synthesized. And if it's not a lab made synthetic, then it's likely to be human made or human forced. What they do is they inject the trees with the bacteria, allow it to ferment, and become oud. So unless you've got more than Rolex money, you're likely not to be getting real oud in your fragrance because oud per gram costs way more than gold itself. First fragrance we're gonna talk about is a relatively new one. It's from Fragrance World. And the bottle on this is just crazy. And this is called Imperial by Fragrance World. This right here smells like a very aromatic leather, musk, amber, and oud fragrance. It gets most of its animalic qualities, not just from one note. It gets it from the oud, it gets it from the leather, and it also gets it from the musk. So overall, this is a a pretty a pretty testy type of fragrance very aromatic and spicy so you have to enjoy spicy fragrances once you get into the mid and dry down then you'll start sensing more of the animalic leather it's a leather overdose and then later in the dry down you get that background of oud so although oud might not be the star player in this fragrance it's definitely there but be careful this stuff is beast mode so let's move on to the next one from Astaf, and it's relatively cheap this is a middle eastern version of an ambery fragrance i lied this is mason francis kirk john's grand soir but middle east Eastern. Ambery, resinous vanilla with oud in the background. This stuff smells like Grand Soir with Middle Eastern funk to it. It's not too funky, not too animalic, but it does smell like a nice vanilla ambery fragrance with that benzoin. And like I said, it has that background of this Middle Eastern funk. So check this one out. Edge the Sultan, the brown. This next fragrance smells really freaking nice. I'm gonna present two of them because they do the exact same thing and I get asked about these frequently. I loved this DNA. Even though it is a cheapie, I think that this is a great chocolate, saffron, and oud. It's a little bit sharp from that saffron and like I said, both of these do the similar things. We're gonna talk about this one first out of the Zafran's Safir al Oud and the one next to it is called Sharaf Oud. Gold. Both of these smell very close. Both of these smell exactly the same, except this one projects a little bit harder for an hour. After that hour, it pretty much dries away and it doesn't last the longest. This one doesn't project as loud as this one, but to be honest with you guys, it's worth the trade off because it smells like a better quality and it lasts longer. So although this will project more in the first hour, after that first hour, it's relatively faint. This will do a decent job at projecting, maybe not the best, but it'll last much, much longer. So this is an excellent fragrance. Zafran, chocolate, and oud. This next fragrance is a drier take on woods and oud, really. It has a medicinal quality of oud. So a lot of you might be wondering, what does medicinal oud mean? It's as simple as it sounds. It means that it's a wood that has undertones of like this medicinal quality. So think of cough syrup and woods. It's definitely an acquired taste. So like I said, oud is not for everybody, but this is exactly that. It's a medicinal dry oud. The quality of the woods in this fragrance does have like this pencil shavings type of vibe and longevity on this thing is not more than about five to six hours still smells pretty nice and the bottle is extremely nice this fragrance is another zafran and oud fragrance but it's not really anything sweet it's just straight up zafran and oud and this is called oud noir by khadlaj smells like oud zafran some incense and rose Simple as that, Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad, Oud Noir by Khadlaj. It's not the loudest fragrance that I have, and it's not the loudest of all of these, but it still smells pretty nice. Simple as that. This next one is called Just Oud Boulevard by Latafa. This smells like a creamy, woody Oud with some animalic undertone. It smells like it might have tobacco in here, and I do get some resemblances to Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud. It's not a perfect clone of any of that, but it does smell like that. So creamy, animalic, and Oudy. Smells really nice. I just wish this one also lasted longer. Despite the fact that I don't get more than five to six hours, this still smells fantastic. Next up is a Oud Saffron Balm, and it's these bad boys right here. This is Latafa's Oud for Glory, and this is Wassam's Oud de Roman. And this pretty much smells just like this with an added note of pomegranate. So think of Saffron Oud, Initio's Oud for Greatness. Think of that with some pomegranate. Smells really nice, underrated. It's got this dry woods, saffron, and that fruity pomegranate. This one's a sexy oud. It's sweet, it's camphorous, it's smoky. It's got that oud in the background. 
It's beautiful, and this is called Raghba Wood Intense. And in my opinion, this is the best version between Amir Al Oud Intense and Raghba. It just smells like by the fireplace with the added marshmallows. You're sitting by the fireplace with your date, you're eating marshmallows, you're cuddling. That's what this is. This next one is my guilty pleasure. It's marketed for women, it's Delina Exclusif, but it's from our MOF and it's called Club de Nuit Imperial. This is dirty, it's earthy, it's sexy, raunchy, sweet, jammy rose. It's so damn good. In my opinion, this is amazing. So you get this extremely jammy rose that's very sweet and it's got this incense and oud note that just cuts right through the sweetness and it's backed up with this earthy patchouli that just, my God, this is mouthwatering for me. So if you're into Middle Eastern fragrances, something that's oudy, dirty, earthy, sexy, and sweet at the same time, yeah. Lastly is a fragrance that smells just like Leighton Exclusif and it's called Anaqid. And this is an amazing dupe of Leighton Exclusif. It smells like vanilla, coffee, ambers, oud. It's got Loatian oud and it does have some animalic facets from that civet. So there is a civet note. This is the older brother of Leighton. On a budget though, on a budget. I personally can pick up that civet and I can pick up the oud and the vanilla. Smells amazing in my opinion. Man, I love this stuff. I can rock this one to bed now. So I don't have to go and spend my high dollar stuff to wear to bed anymore. I can just go with this bad boy. And that for me is good enough. Overdosed vanilla, coffee, ambers, this is the one. Most of the occasions for all of these fragrances are gonna be relatively similar. So I would classify these as 20, 25 and up, maybe even 30 and up. But if you're testy or if you're more experienced, really, that's what it comes to. I find that a lot of people in perfumery, as they get more experienced, they look for something a little bit more challenging. And the end of the spectrum on the challenging list is going to be Oud. And even when you get to the Oud, it starts off in a spectrum. So you start off with like a Western Oud, and then you start adding a little bit more. You get into Cambodian, you get into Indian, and you go from 1%, 2% to authentic Oud, and then it's just game over. Occasions for all of these, for me personally, it's gonna be colder weather. It's very rare that you'll find a DNA for all of these Oud fragrances where you can wear out in the summertime or even springtime, but you might be able to get away with some of these during the fall. There are only a few Oud fragrances that take Oud and make it into a fresh DNA, but the Italians do enjoy fresher takes on Oud, like Aqua de Parma's Colonia Oud. But for all of these, I would personally wear this to serious occasions, events, or I would pull this out for a date, especially if you're seeing somebody that also enjoys perfumes. The only reason that I think this might be a suited for 25 and up is because most of these, you have to be confident when you rock these. And if you're not confident while wearing an Oud fragrance that's serious, it's probably going to wear you and then it might come off off-putting. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, do me a solid, scroll down, hit that subscribe button. And until the next one, peace.